Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we farm with water, roots, and then chickens, baby chicks. Luna, leave them alone. It's amazing these dogs are dogs. Half wolf and half humanly trained instinct dog-like animals. The moment a chicken is yelling and flapping and screaming and running they are quite happy to go and relieve it from its excitement. So <laughs> I have to watch them now with the chicks as well. Okay, this is time for these chicks to escape the sand pit. They've been here now a year and uh, slowly we remove the cuttings that we took from our own plants and start planting them on the swales on the rest of the farm. This is the newly cleared area from the Jara brush, the cystus, and uh, we have taken the swales, the lowest swales on the farm and uh, every meter we have a dripper and then we have a plant every meter and is that too much? Uh, perhaps 10 years from now Right now it's not an issue, it's the way we want it. So here is the wild olive and then an oak that came up by itself. So I have a dripper next to it and then some cuttings and then a fig tree. So it carries on, every meter we have something. We have done the same with this swell here in the west, our clay swell, where water stands for months after the last rains. We have pruned the Andalusian pistachio lentiscus and uh, put in a lot of drippers and things with roots and things without roots and cactus and whatever. So we plant water and we plant roots. That's the only chance we have to enrich the soil and make something out of it. This pond still holds water and I bring the ducks here daily, sorry, the geese to perform their reproductive ritual. If not, they are in the pot very soon. Either you work or you get eaten. I at least found a use for the dogs, except to keep the deer away and the mongoose and other animals. When my hands are full of clay, I just call one of them and I wipe my hands on them. It works well. 
useful animals walking up to the highest part of the land, the flat part of the land and there is the bulging Matilda and uh, ooh, look So uh, 24 hours of pumping and it is at a height of one meter and I've now taken pictures and sent it to the distributor and because the indications is 1.6 meters so to me this is pretty fat already another 60 centimeters I don't know anyway I'm happy the fence is up and I have no gate I actually don't want one I don't want traffic here or people to look and no stay out we have planted lots of asparagus that are growing but I will now put trees in this corner and here in the middle what a sight I just hope it doesn't explode but they say 1.6 meters high and this is only one meter a lot to go and here is the pump at the cistern I covered it with a plastic sheeting Daniel told me many times to build something in the absence of being able to build something, I just cover it. And then we will have two visitors this weekend and they want to us to cut up this trunk. So I'll stick the chainsaw perhaps 45 degrees and cut it for about 2 meters and then cut the ends then I have two halves and then make some uh, from the lower ends some upright posts with a V groove in it and just put them on top I look forward to that. It's time to do small important things that pleases the heart and the soul. We have done a lot of huge projects and I want to go slow on the big projects and do a lot of smaller things. The fountain flow has stopped it's either just the way it is or because i pumped out the water from the cistern the cistern dropped 40 centimeters out of the two meters and uh, so there's still a lot of water in there in the whole canal system but no flowing water here still a puddle and this temporary pond also no water anymore um, there's some forecast of rain but very little the next two weeks It will be nice if we can fill these things again 
but we are thankful, happy, happy to be here. Till next time, goodbye.